I am Anshu, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I am going to show you how to resolve the access denied or invalid information error received when an AWS identity and access management user or role tries to assume a cross-account IAM role. Let's get started. To assume the IAM role in another AWS account, the IAM user or role in the source account which is the account that would assume the IAM role, must have the STS assume role permission. Simultaneously, the trust policy of the IAM role in the destination account, which is the account that allows the assumption of the IAM role, must allow the IAM user or role in the source account to assume this role. If you use the AWS management console to switch roles, then you get the error invalid information if the correct IAM permissions are not present for the user or if the trust policy of the IAM role is not set up correctly. Similarly, if you use the AWS CLI to assume the cross account role, then you get the error access denied if the correct IAM permissions are not present for the user or the trust policy of the IAM role is not set up correctly. Let's work through how to make sure that you can resolve these issues. After logging into the AWS Management Console of the source account, navigate to the IAM Console and choose Users. Then select the IAM entity that you want to assume the cross-account role. Make sure that this user has the permission to assume the cross-account role as shown. Now, log into the AWS Management Console of the destination account. Navigate to the IAM console and then choose Roles. Select the IAM role that will be assumed by the cross account user. Navigate to Trust Relationship tab and choose Edit. Make sure that the Trust Relationship policy allows the IAM user from the source account to assume this role as shown. If your account is a part of an AWS organization, there can be organization level permissions as well. Check that the organization's service control policy allows the STS assume role action. Check the service control policies for any statements that explicitly denies STS assume role action. To do this, navigate to AWS Organizations Console by typing AWS Organization into the search bar. From the left menu, choose Policies and then choose Service Control Policies. Here, you can see the list of SCPs present in this organization. To view a SCP, choose the policy name. For example, the policy that appears here explicitly denies the action STS Assume Role. This policy setting will result in an access denied or invalid information error. If the policy denies the STS Assume Role action, then detach the SCP from the member accounts. To do this, select the AWS Accounts option from the left menu. Now, select the member account where you want to detach the SCP. Scroll down at the bottom and select the Policies tab. Here, you can see all the service control policies attached to this account. To detach a policy, select the SCP that denies STS Assume Role action and then select Detach. A caution message pops up. To detach the policy, choose Detach. The SCP is now detached from the account. After the correct permission policy is applied, the user can assume the cross-account role from the AWS Management Console. To verify this, log into the AWS account using the IAM user that wants to assume the cross-account role. Now, choose the username from the top right in the navigation bar and then select Switch Role. Enter the account number of the destination account and the role name that the user will assume. The display name field is automatically populated. You can leave this field as it is or enter a custom name. Here, make sure that the correct details are entered as shown. Otherwise, 
you will get the invalid information error. To assume a cross account role from the CLI, run the command from AWS CLI as shown. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.